no power. Mind twist. Nah, Minsk and Boo. Ah, it is on theme with the holiday. It's also just a stupid good card. Mm. I don't really want to take Minsk and Boo though. F2 PMTG, thanks to the 11 months of Prime. Chitso, thanks to the 5 gifties. Coleslaw, thanks to the 15 months. What's up, Easy Rage, thanks to the 31. Primordial, thanks to the 2 gifty subbies. Ba da da ba. Ba da da ba. Ba ba. I don't want Minsk and Boo. I'm going to take Workshop. And you're all going to like it. And then we're going to take Karn. Or Spell Pierce. Yeah, Minsk and Boo is really good. Really freaking good. Mm, some blue duels here. Alright, I'll take Tundra. Tundra over Trops over Watery. Seems light. Da, 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 dum, dum. Tomorrow now! Things are 13 months. Simply having the world of Christmas. There's a Rafelos. But I'm getting coal for Christmas. We're doing some brown things here. Yes, we are. What is this? Some spicy blue cards? I guess I'll take the Teferi. Bing bong bing. Doo doo doo. Doo doo doo. Doo doo doo. doo, -doo. Do, 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 do. What's up, Matronix? Thanks for the 39. Swanson is king. Thanks for the 76. Signet, Fastbond, Golos, Archmage. Hmm. Yeah, Signet after taking Workshop, I guess. It's also white. Crucible? Oh, we just passed the Fastbond. We'll take it. That'll make um that'll make taking fetches better as well. Nahiri's he's pretty good with crucible too. Simply having wonderful Christmas time. Bing bong bing. Red, white, black. It's probably okay. Grandmaster, okay, all right. Maybe we get some time walk nonsense. Oh, yeah, maybe we get Tinker. It's also okay with Nahiri. Knight of the Reliquary Crucible. Also a thing. I guess Reclaimer with Crucible is also a thing, but eh, take the land. Bing, bong, bing. Wow, what is that late plateau? Nice. Very good. Pack two power. Time walk. Time walk more artifacts. Just a mox jet. There's strip mine for crucible too. Academy, ragavan, yikes. Scary pack. Scary, scary. Uh, man. I almost don't even want to take the Mox Jet. But oh well. Power's power. No, it, we just have the Crucible, so I don't think it's worth it. Like, there are still plenty of other ways to make Crucible worth. And we've already passed Fast Bond. Like, Nahiri's already good with it. Fetches are good with it. Faithless looting, good with it, so. 
I'm fine not taking the strippy. Mm, okay, some good cards here. I think I'll go with the Confluence. Probably wheel the loot. Ooh, there's the Uzra. Passing portal. Yes, swords would be good too. Okay, that's a good. Meyer now is great. Increases our effectiveness of the bowl. The Crusa bowl. Oh, there's Armageddon. Mm, but I'd rather have Mana Leak or Foff here. Let's see. Oh, we have so much random black fixing. Already passed Mind Twist in pack one. I opened it and said I didn't want it. Is it Signet? That's beautiful. Anyone play MTGA on Mac? Ah. Any Magic client on Mac has generally been a bad time. Sorry to say. Verdant Catacombs. I guess Titan could be okay here. He's... Am I sneaking? This Rakdo Signet looks juicy. God, am I sneak attacking? The Signet's so good, though. Uh, but I feel like I should probably take that. Ooh, wield the sphere. That's nice. Mentor, Mishra's, both good too. But Battle Sphere with uh, Urza's kind of sick. I'm going to take the looting over the Elspeth now. Portal came back. Slamming Citadel? What are we doing with Citadel? The Yakel Hops? What the heck? What's going on? This deck is weird. Weird, bro, weird. One, two, three, four, five, six artifacts that are okay with workshop. Don't look don't think we're playing Colossus. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, we did open another piece of power, but it's not the one I want. Will I take it? There's Ram and App Excavator. <laughs> had we gotten, or had I taken the strip mine? Chrome Mox is like okay. Yeah, I'll take the Twister over Mox. Saga? We have this twin in our sideboard. Heath is okay here too. Grabs both Plateau and Tundra. And I guess Savai. Yeah, what the hell? Let's have another Wincon. Echo, Sundering Titan. Dig through time. Echo. Echo, Echo. I guess Sundering Titan might be okay. We have Crucible after all. Vista and Bribery. Uh, I kind of want to take Vista since we have the damn Crucible. Yeah, I'm going to take the Fetch. Could use a few more cheap artifacts. That'd be great. Well, can't pass Rogger and Triome. Boundary and Force of Negation here also good. Confidence low. Let's see, 35. I have a few more packs. 
What's up, Gylin? Thanks for the nine months. I mean, we could play Sarah for Tangle, I guess. Probably just want the blue red land, though. Even if it's not fetchable. Tutor? Tutor grabs what? Basically nothing. Just Time Twister. Grabbing Confluence doesn't really matter. Uh, still have one more pack. One more chance to get something good. Like, I don't really need another red-white land. I'd still just take the Tutor. Land tax could be okay. Skydiver's good. No, actually, land tax makes sense here, I think. Progenitus sneak attack? Probably not. Dig through time. Ah, we could splash the Vindicate with all that black fixing. Do I have enough cards hitting the graveyard first and dig through time? Maybe. Okay, I mean, Recruiter does grab some good ones. It grabs Urza, Deceiver, Shredder. We could run that. I don't think I'm going to, though. Hmm. The only time I've ever added to wishlist is when I misclick. <laughs> Let's be real. Is that not the case for everybody? The only time you click on wishlist is when you misclick. Uh, is this workshop good enough? Not really. It's like passable. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, since I'm running 17 lands, I think I'm fine to run it. All right, let's go. And is Dees. Meyer can go grab Rogrin. For our second blue source. So we need to find another untapped land so I can go turn three Urza. What's up, Larynx Punch Worthy? So the 66er. Alright, perfect. Found the other untapped lands. Give him the carrots. Uh oh. Copter. What's up, Zeo Matrix Mars? Thanks to the 49er. No, the mocks do count as land. Oh. Two burn spells on Urza. I'm okay with that. Sweet. Untap land here would be nuts. Womp womp. I don't love discarding Spell Pierce, but it's alright versus Mono Red. I think I'd rather be able to go Sun Titan into Teferi next turn. Sun Titan can get back Shredder or whatever. Hey! Knock it off! Oof. Uh, I mean, they only have two more cards in their hand. It's not the worst case scenario. If nothing else, we can always chump with the Ledger Shredder and then keep bringing it back with the Titan. 
Uh oh. What just happened? What did? Oh, they meant to kill my sign. Oh, they meant to kill my token, but they targeted the treasure itself or something. I guess we can just block the uh, copter now. Go to nine. Yeah, it looks like they misclicked. They targeted the treasure accidentally and then used the treasure for mana. Just tap one of my tri lands, right? Okay, this isn't bad. Now I can go Teferi Tuck plus hold up leak. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Wow, that was lethal too. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know if I just want to bring in a 2-2 lifelink. Probably not a bad idea. Titan doesn't look so good here. Simply heaven. God, I hate that song. Worst Christmas song. Uh, Okay. Yeah, this is fine because land tax should do wonders here. Unless they go mo mountain mocks and never play another land. Well, it's fine because we drew a land anyways. We know their deck has a lot of bigger red spells too, so... It's not the worst case scenario if they sit back. Eh, we're probably just dead to this curve. Lifelink, but I can't even block either of those. Stop! Stop! That's a pretty good curve. I don't think I have any outs. Alright, you got me. They won't always have that curve. No mocks this time for the OP would be nice. Ooh, that's a good hand. It's a good hand. I'm going to go ahead and just fire off the uh, Shredder turn one instead of waiting for a loot. They're going to need like turn one bolt or chain lightning. That's fine. Nice. Nice. It's tempting to fire off Time Twister there, but I think we want to get the white source online first. Hopefully we get to Spell Pierce this turn. Every game with the ruby. Sheesh. I could play out Chalice just for a loot. I kind of like doing that. We do have Urza in the deck too, so... If we find Urza, that'll turn it into a... Uh, Sapphire. They didn't have a burn spell on either of those hands, oddly.
Earthquake just to kill the Shredder. I like that. Wow, what a draw. Workshop. Coming in clutch, actually. Well, we're going to be able to fire off the dig anyways, and one life is relevant. That's why I discarded it. Right? Sure. That doesn't matter. Batter skull, or not batter skull, the battle, battle, battle sphere says la 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 la. A lot of that's good to see go away. So they're probably going to combine Glory Bringer and a Burn Spell to kill the Battle Sphere. Would be my guess. Oh, they didn't. That might even be scarier. I see. They did have the Shield Breaker in their deck too, so... Pressure on. Stomp face. I'll allow it. I'd rather counter a uh, dragon. We can still counter unless they pay three on a uh, gold span. Do 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 do. Free Stratos. Thanks to the Prime Subby. Thundering would suck here. <laughs> oh wait, didn't I take it out? I thought I took it out too. Yeah. Okay. Aha! Oh wait, that doesn't do anything. Well, it is possible they burn me out. No, that wouldn't have killed them. Yeah, probably should counter that one. Well, we didn't know they had chair. They had double sacrifice of P and Kirin Alar. If I go to if I battle sphere make a token, they can sack the ruby before I go to combat. All right, got him. This hand's good. No blue source, but turn one signet, turn two portal. Keep that. Yeah, uh, but you didn't see that either. Somebody in chat was right. It was me. I was right. Esper Sentinel! Well, that's annoying. All right, take your stupid sexy card, because I can't input into that. Yo, what is this? 
Tundra Botanical Sanctum Arbor Elf. That poor Arbor Elf just wants to find a target. This deck needed a balance. Also needs to draw some blue sources. <laughs> At Arbor Elf. Yeah. Island! Blue source, please! Oh my gosh. I mean, if they play another land type. Titan looks pretty good here. I'd have to blow up my Triome, but... Now we kind of want them to play a forest. What is going on over there? What? What is this hand? Hello? This is not even a good Titan. How have we not drawn a blue source? That's crazy. <laughs> Whatever works, man. <laughs> Whatever works, dude. Uh... I mean, how many blue sources do we have in our deck? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Land tax, eleven. This hand's pretty bad. That hand is also pretty freaking bad. Although I will say, if we drew exactly a red source and one other land, I mean... You know what? I'm going to try keeping this. My opponent didn't do anything last game. What the hell? Don't try this at home. Well, no, it's not just a land. It has to be a red source. I am out of space. Thanks for gifting a sub E. Hey, how about you give me that? Green Sun? Baby Crisis? I'm all right with this. Come on, red source. Ah. We did win last game. Field of the Dead. Okay. All those weird lands starting to make a little bit more sense. Oops, Swanson is king. Thanks for gifting another sub E. Marshall! Thanks for the 88 months. Merry Christmas, buddy. Marshall, are you going to let me draw a red source here? Nope. Nope, you did not. God, this is a sad-looking crucible. All of this is sad. Ah, oh, damn it, Chet. I freaking pinched a nerve in my back last week, and it's still painful. I mean, again, they're not doing anything over there, so... Hey, Chansu! I am one mana short of spinning the Urza immediately. Unfortunate. Bean Doggerel! Thanks for the five gifted subbies. Man, I love Urza with Battlesphere. It's effectively free. That was a true miracle, wasn't it? Opponent. 
Esper Sentinel into Arbor Elf, nothing. Good news, they don't start getting Zombos yet. Yeah, Field of the Dead and Vintage Cube just doesn't seem like it's a thing. They swords? My frickin'... My big boy's gone. Oh! Okay, that's gross. Well, better that than sneak attack, I guess. And still, if I just draw a red source here, we're in good shape. Actually, Prismatic Vista's got to be our number one draw. I mean, I don't have any, as many red sources as I do blue, but still, I have a ton of red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine plus red sources. So this is this is comparable to the previous game. Like this is one percenter into one percenter or something. Not seeing a red source in the first thirteen cards. Yeah, my family do, uh, does uh, presents and whatnot Christmas Eve. So went to my folks' place last night, had a nice dinner, did some white elephant. I don't actually know if I have a Santa hat anymore. I might. Is that common slang or something? Why did everybody think White Elephant was some kind of drug? I did get socks. Hell yeah. I needed some more Costco socks. I run so much that I put holes in my socks pretty quickly. Oh, oh they hit acidic slime. Oh, that kills artifacts! This doesn't specify non-creature like Primus does. So I can blow up my spear. Womp womp. What's the difference between this and the one I played the other day, except for graphics? Uh, variety of formats available. This is Vintage Cube, which you can't do on Arena. Rasuna Bushi, thanks for the 55. What's up, Colonel Crabcake? Thanks for the 56. $5 Nordstrom gift card at last White Elephant. That sounds like that person did not try. Online actually has a social aspect. Negligible. Oof, I'm sorry you got hit with the vid. Mm -hmm. Oh, good news. Intel reached out. I will be getting the new computer in the next few days. So hell yeah, new computer. Which means I should probably start getting my stuff ready to transfer over. Yeah, 15 cards in, 9 plus red sources in the deck. Womp womp. This is good though. I mean, we're seeing more of their deck and nothing looks too scary except for the Fractured Identity. Which is admittedly scary, but... Do -do -do -do. No, see, that's a common misconception that it's running, it's bad for your knees. Holy moly. All right, you win. You win. Let's just draw a normal spread. Uh, I'm good, thanks. A normal spread of resources, and we should be good. I never play in the limited challenges. <laughs> nah, I'm good. Nah. <laughs> ba -da 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 -ba -dum -dum -dum. Okay.
Normal draw, please. Just put Rogrin Triumph in our hand, and we'll have all of our colors. Oh? Oh? If they don't have an early blocker... What's it like to have all my colors? This is what it's like right here, because I have them. I think what I'm probably going to do is just Crucible next turn and then Sneak Attack plus Activate in one swoop. You're in stream! Thanks for the 16 months. Ooh, okay. Now I might instead run out the Sneak. Oh. No, I'm not going to. Hopefully we just draw Mox Jet. That's that's the nuts here. Come on, nothing too bad. Come on. Damn. Um So I can either wrath their board or I can make them chump with Magus. Sorry, Wrath their lands, but they could still activate this. And then they would get Progenitus. No, that's probably right to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna sneak attack Sundering Titan. And then what they're going to do is. Oh shoot, I have to blow up too many lands here, don't I? So I don't want to blow up their Ketria until the Sundering Titan dies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if I wait until the Sundering Titan dies, then I only have to blow up their Ketria and not my Mountain too. I guess that's not a huge deal since I have the Crucible anyways, but... And they need a green source. Okay, so they're just going to go get Progenitus. Is my guess. And then we wait for them to attack with Progenitus. And then we Blight Steal them. If they play a 2 2, I lose. <laughs> Looks like we got him. No 2-2. Two, two. I'd say that was excess. a success. Yeah, buddy! We're 2-0 with this deck! I don't know how, but here we are. Admittedly, our first couple of draws in that second match were Garbo, but... Eh, I'll keep it. We got Spell Pierce, turn one. It's good enough for me. I'm okay with him blowing up my Mox. I'm less okay with them blowing it up with that thing. Ah, I was debating not even playing out the Mox. Sucks. They just replay on breath. I'm okay with that. I mean, a 1 4 is actually fantastic here. You know what? I think I don't mind our chances versus a red white deck. No, I can't play sneak attack into Cathar Commando. Well, I can, but it's not good. The only time I'm going to run it out is if I can activate it immediately, which now I can, but... Our 1-4 and 1-3 are super good versus them. <laughs> yeah. 
they go for like a bolt here, I can go for spell pierce just for the rummage or the loot of the shredder. They do have a lot of lands. Ooh, that's a nice draw. Okay. What are you talking about? I cast Shredder, and then if they got went for a bolt, like I said, I could spell pierce it and discard. Yo, what's up, Wingding? Thanks for the five gifted subbies. Getting rid of all my lands for my uh, stupid sexy. Who's it? What's it? God, I needed a balance or something in this deck. Hmm. Sheesh. Let's get a loot. To a mock sapphire is kind of nice. <laughs> oh god, you know what? I messed up. Good, but they didn't see it. Because that thing's about to flip. So if they had killed my chalice beforehand, that would have sucked. Not that I'm doing any well here. Obviously, we're still losing. Oh, they didn't even attack with Gideon. That's good. All right, you've got another bolt. I'm dead. Armageddon. Sure. Let's see. I get Ledger Shredder again, and then we die. Get to see Regzark. That doesn't do anything. All right, you got me. Yeah. <sighs> Played around that spell pierce pretty well with their Gideon, sadly. I mean, this looks like a winnable matchup, though. The turn that I looting and miss a land kind of hurt. Oof. Too expensive. Uh, okay. I can keep this. Nah, I don't think the recruiter was quite good enough. Merkel George, thanks for the five months of Prime. What's up, Slayer? Thanks for the four months. A little bit less exciting on the play, but I can just miss my second land drop. Let's see if they want to wait a long time, too. They might not play out of land. Nice. What's up, Respect the Cat? Thanks for throwing a raiding party. Welcome, Raiders. Ulysses! Thanks for the five gifted subbies. Man, what kind of hand did they keep? Sheesh. What on earth? Is 
Is Gideon? Okay. Sure. Splinter Twin Urza for all of the spicy uh, tokens. Ooh. I mean, there's probably nothing wrong with just playing out a 6-6. Six, six. For, 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 uh, for, for, for how far ahead we seem, I don't actually think we're that far ahead. Okay, I can kill Sun Titan with that if they want to, sure. Yeah, that's what I was debating. Plus, more cards in the graveyard for dig through time are good, too. That's pretty good. Ooh, if they don't have a burn spell, that'd be kind of nice. Boo. Alright, well, good news is we'll be able to dig through time now. I want to leave Urza in the graveyard. Oh, I don't have enough to delve it all. Uh, let's see. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I'm one short of killing him next turn, huh? I would need ten. Yeah, I'm one short of killing him next turn. Damn. Hmm. Pretty funny if they had mana tithe. Mm. But if I had one more mana, what I could do is sneak attack the blight steel and then confluence the three blockers for lethal. <sighs> oh, that's right, they can just uptick Gideon here too. So that buys them a turn. Or if they multi-block, I guess it'll buy them more time. Lelia. No, I have to attack next turn. Sheesh. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, they're just gonna let the Gideon die. Why not twin the blight steel? It doesn't do anything. It's just actively bad. Lazy tap mana? What are you talking about? Lightsteel also doesn't shuffle. The token... What, what are you... Guys, this doesn't work. The Gideon forced me to attack. If I, if I twin it, this doesn't do any... I can't make a token at end of turn. I have to attack. I mean, yes, I could have played the Signet off of Workshop, I will grant that, but I don't think that's going to ultimately matter. Mary Cubes miss. <sighs> so I guess I need to draw three here with Confluence now. And I'm not even sure what I can hit. 
Actually, I guess I don't have to. Maybe they go block, 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 and I can bounce. It might be safer to still just draw here, though. Let's see. Can we bounce something else? Ooh, yeah, I think chat has that play. Twin, copy, bounce, sneak. That works. I think it's pretty likely we win here no matter what, but yeah, no, that works. Because I think if I attack with Blightsteel, they would probably end up blocking with Copter too, which means they need to crew it. Oh, no, I guess the giver gives pro blue. Yeah, all right, I mean... be pretty funny if the last card in their hand is swords. What other cards were insta-wins? Deceiver Exarch was an insta-win. What else was still in our deck? Well, that's legit a line I've never seen before. I guess I want to bring Spell Pierce back in when they have a bunch of uh, Planeswalkers. We saw three Planeswalkers. Gideon, Chandra, Elspeth now. They're like big Boros. I think this is okay to keep. The Colossus is a mulligan, and the Workshop is kind of a mulligan. But Shredder and Exarch, we know, are just very good versus them. No Lelias, please. Crucible of their own? I guess they did have Armageddon. Very cubes, miss. Yeah, maybe I win next turn. I wanted to pump up my shredder there, but... That's good. Oh, Meyer doesn't get any untapped red or blue source, does it? I guess I'd be one short anyways. Oh, we still might as well grab the raw grin. Ami? No, that's not Chandra Mana. <laughs> oh god, and I can't get double blue. Oh, if I could float blue and... Alright, then you got me. We have a Crucible of our own. I could just top deck our own Crucible. Also, with one more blue source, we uh, can dig through time. I mean, Portal's not even a terrible draw there. That sets them back quite a bit of mana, so they're not going to be able to play out their Planeswalkers probably for a little while. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's right. I guess I'm going to discard the Blight Steel now for an extra counter. Well, we know they have a bunch of ways to blow up artifacts. So I'm not... I'm not getting my hopes up that uh, Portal's going to live for very long. They had, what, Cathar Commando and Embereth? Ha! Get out of here forever, mama. Nice. Well, one turn with the portal is even just good enough, probably. Get us back in the game. Any blue source for dig through time is also fat. Well, that's very awkward. I'm going to sit back now. Comes father time. It's always father! 
Why, father, why? And we get to ball next turn. They probably want to double block? I don't know. I think I kill the Magda if they double block. Oh, they're not even going to care. Ball's pretty good here. <clears throat> what? I took a day off yesterday. I think I streamed close to 300 days this year, it said. 280 maybe? 290? Something like that. I don't stream every weekend. I stream some weekends. There have been a lot of opens and stuff, so... Anytime there's an open, I stream both those days. What do they do? They just upticked again, it looks like. Aurelia? That's a lot of damage. Alright, well, if we just draw... No, Twin doesn't win. I need to draw a blue source to bounce, set them back a lot. That works. Phew! Oh, I have to, right? I have to send everything no matter what. And I can't... I can't ping. Yeah. All right. Okay. Triple bounce into... Uh, dig through... Or time twister is not the worst. Aurelia's six mana? Die if they have Fire Blast Aurelia, I think. That sounds right. Die to Aurelia Fire Blast. Oh wait, no, no, no. We know all. We know three of the four cards. No, we know three of the four cards in their hand. So these untap. I'm going to go to six here. Actually, they might have to leave that back. No, they have to leave that back, don't they? Go to seven. Well, we get to dig for infinite cards. So I'm guessing we're going to find lethal. Okay, is this lethal? Pretty damn close. Okay. Wow, didn't hit. Holy crap, what garbage. Holy smokes, the garbage is real. I need the extra red source that the Faithless Looting provides. What on earth? Where is it? I was looking for a twin so I could just win. The four, five, six, seven. It'll go to thirteen. No, I have to tuck Aurelia here. Yay! Wow, we just tropied with this deck. Holy smokies. I didn't even get to pull off the freaking Deceiver Exarch Twin once. In fact, the only time I cast Twin, it was on the Blightsteel. 
Yeah. Well, I did not expect to trophy that. But we'll take it. What's up, Gloom Shot? Bye. Thanks for the 46 months. That means we got a chesty Timber Bay. Thank you.